Yes, but you'd be better off slowing down the negative a little bit. But if you go from a two second negative or even like a one and a half second negative to like a seven second negative, you're also not gonna see a big hypertrophy difference there. Yet a lot of people in the science-based community for some reason think that the slower negative is significantly better. That really just hasn't been shown in the research. Um, and then once you go super, super, super slow, like above eight seconds on a rep, it seems to be a bit worse again. So you have a ton of flexibility when it comes to tempo. But you don't want to dive bomb. I think dive bombing is like the worst you could do for hypertrophy. Great for great brain. Huh? It's great for great brain. Oh, it's fun. Sorry, it's fun. On and for strength, it, yeah, it can help because your, your fibers don't have to work during the negative. So. And you get the stretch reflex at the bottom. I don't, I mean, it depends on if it's hypertrophy or strength. What are you talking now? Squats for hypertrophy or strength? Because those I would program differently. Squats for 